What's up guys, welcome back to Keller Honest Guide. My name is Razif and today we're going to talk to you about the 105mm telephoto lens. So this is a telephoto lens, so it is specific for those telephoto photography or also you want to uh, shoot videos with a really pushed in uh, shot. So this is what the lens looks like. You get the front cap here, you can see that the glass here is um, quite a good quality glass. It's heavy. You also get the uh, back cap here to prevent dust from entering. The most important part here is the 17mm thread attachment. So that means you need a specific phone case to attach a 17mm thread lens. Now come the tricky part. So this is a telephoto lens. So what you're going to see now is when I'm going to attach this on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, this is on the normal wide angle lens. So this is the image that you're going to get. When this lens is attached on the wide lens of the phone, you can see the edges are really soft, almost unusable. But in the middle part here is clear. So you can see that the edges are soft and the center part is clear. As the arms are stretched here, you can see the phone itself is already soft. Now come the interesting part because this is a telephoto lens. As you can see here, it's a telephoto lens. So when I apply on the telephoto camera of the iPhone, this is the image that you're going to get. When this lens is attached on the telephoto lens of the phone, this is the proper image you get. It's really zoomed in, pushed in. You can see that the background is really nice, it's nice depth of field separating the person and the background. So this lens only can be used on the telephoto lens of the phone. Let's see the uh, second example here. Now we can see that the red flower here is in focus. When I change the focal length, you can see now the background is getting more clearer. The green plants and also the white tents are getting more clearer while the foreground now is all blurred including the red flower so now when i change it back to the original position you can see that the red flower now is in focus while the foreground is back again in uh, not in focus and the background is not in focus now let's see the uh, third example here the purple flower is in focus while the background is blurred when i change it again you can see that the plants the background there are all in focus now when i change it back the purple flower is in focus so again this is the range it gives you so you can just play around it on the tele lens of the iPhone. Those of you who are watching this video as I came across this channel for the first time, uh, so what I do is this is a dedicated smartphone videography channel. So what I, uh, what I do is I push the boundaries of a smartphone. For example, what you're watching now is being shot on a smartphone, uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max within an external lens, a telephoto lens, so you can see this is the shot that you get from a smartphone. I've compiled a playlist of cosplay events which I've attended last year and also throughout this year there was many cosplay events so I'm going to put the link somewhere above here or if you can't see it here I'll be, uh, it'll be on the uh, description below check them out every single video was shot using a smartphone and an external lens which I'll put it, uh, at the end of those videos and I've also done some nice guide around Kuala Lumpur I did some train shots and some iconic uh, places where a lot of tourists go Everything was shot using a phone and a lens. Watch those videos and you can see that those are the images that you get. Those are the video quality that you get using this uh, current uh, day smartphone. It has evolved throughout the year. It is really good. So if you really want to start your videography, your vlogging, you can just take out your device with you right now, which is your smartphone. Just put on the uh, video and just record all the way. Now let's talk about the gimbal compatibility. When this lens is attached to the phone, both are very heavy. So you need a higher grade gimbal or a hybrid gimbal like this Feutex Corp Mini. As you can see here, the lens is bigger and this lens is attached to the tele lens of the phone. So this gimbal has the space to place it. It has to be placed as you've seen here because the weight of the lens has to be center of the gimbal axis. So guys, that's it for today's episode. I really hope you got an idea of what this 105mm telephoto lens does. So if you like what you see and you want to purchase this lens, I'll put the link on this lens uh, on the description below. If you have any comments, you can put it on the description below. I will get to you as soon as possible on those questions. And that's it for today's uh, lens episode. Uh, this is Kel Honest Guide. My name is Razif and I'll see you on the next episode. Stay curious, my friends.